What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of the My Side of the Block podcast. If today is your first time listening, I want to say welcome. We are a sports podcast. We do debates. We do hot topics, hot takes, quick takes, you name it. Any sport, we talk about it. But our main focus right now has been on the NFL and the UFC. But if you guys have something that you want to hear, some sport topic that you want to hear, you want to even talk about, you are welcome to come on to this podcast. We'd love to have guests. We actually prefer it. So if you guys aren't scared, if you want to come on the podcast, you want to talk, come on. And even better, if you guys want to do a debate about a sports topic with somebody that you're friends with or somebody that you're an enemy with, contact us. Because we will bring you guys both on and settle it right here, right on the podcast. Don't be scared. Bring it in. But today, guys, today, I wasn't really going to do a podcast today, but I woke up and I seen my man, Paulie, Paulie, our co-host of the podcast here, posted something and it got me thinking. It got me thinking. And I actually didn't even remember today was that that day. Um, I'm talking about Black Mama Day. Kobe Bryant Day. Today is the two-year anniversary of the day that Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and the other uh, poor souls involved in the accident passed away. And every year I feel like we do a different podcast on this subject because it's very... It's something that we should talk about, you know, something that inspires us to be better. And that's exactly what it did to me. And I know a lot of you feel the same exact way. So I, I want to talk about it again. Keep that anniversary alive. Keep Kobe's memory alive in our group and in myself. And what I want to talk about today is just basically that Mamba mentality and what it actually means to me and why I love sports. Because everybody has a different reason why they do the things they do. They have a different reason why they enjoy sports or why they watch sports or certain sports this or that or why they like athletes and mine's real simple growing up as a kid I liked sports because it was a way for me to meet like-minded people meet people that had similar interests as me and get friends and develop a circle of people that had a common bond and a common rivalry to be honest with you and as I grew grew up I like sports for that. I like sports because my friendship, my friendships were circled around sports because we would always meet up. We would go play, you know, basketball. We'd get a pickup football game, whatever it was, wiffle ball, anything. We'd go meet up with our group of people, meet new people, and you grow great relationships with that. I have a lot of great memories growing up. I have a lot of great friends that I'm still friends with that generally started with sports. So that's what I I grew up on. And as you get older, you cherish some of those memories that you still remember. A lot of us forget things, but I'm one of those people, I pretty much remember everything. I can remember when I was 13 years old playing in Florida basketball. I can remember when I was 15 years old playing baseball when it was cold as shit out. And I remember the people that were involved with it. I remember the competition that it brought, the the aurora that it it brought around you, the lessons that we learned from it. So every year when I see Kobe Bryant post it on the day that he passed away, it always reminds me of what sports are really about and why I like watching the sports. So for me, guys, I I don't really watch sports because I feel like I can do them still because let's be honest, I really can't compete with people doing sports anymore. I'm not 21 years old anymore. So I watch sports for the the people that compete in it. And I feel like sports have lost that edge that Kobe Bryant brought. Kobe Bryant brought an edge to the sport that he just wanted to win. He wanted to compete. And he wanted to be better than he was the day before, the game before, the year before. And I relate that to my life. I I feel like he was one of the last people that actually played the sport because he loved the sport. We got these athletes out here now that they play it because they get paid. They play it for sponsorships. They don't really play it 
because they truly love it. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And the majority of professional athletes just do it to get paid. And I understand it. You want to get paid doing what you did. But Kobe Bryant really didn't care what he got paid. He cared about what his legacy was on the court and what it reflected of who he was off the court. Now, a lot of you love to hate my man Tom Brady. But Tom Brady is the one athlete that is still playing that represents the same stuff that Kobe Bryant did. I love Tom Brady not because he wins the Super Bowls. I don't like him for that. Yeah, it makes it better. But I like him for what he represents. Hard work, dedication, commitment to excellence. And every single person around him grows by being around them. Any person that was around Kobe, you were going to level up. Any person that's around Tom Brady, you are going to level up. There's a lot of athletes that can, can be represented by that. And I like to watch that. I like to watch sports for the competitiveness. For the... To see people do things that you're like, wow, that should not be done. That person should not be able to do that, but yet they do do that. I like watching that shit. Because a lot of these athlete, athletes nowadays in different sports, especially in like the UFC, you got guys that are coming from, from Africa, from Russia, coming from these different countries that 20 years ago never would have thought it was even possible because it wasn't. You got a guy who's the heavyweight champion of the world right now that was digging sand holes in France, had nowhere to live, and now he's the best heavyweight in the world might be the best heavyweight fighter ever. We got another guy who 20 years ago wouldn't have been able to leave his country from Russia, Khabib, who came over to the UFC, dominated the people he fought, and opened the gates up for other fighters. That's the type of stuff that Kobe did. He opened up the door for different types of basketball players, different types of, of styles of play, and he, he made you realize that if you really want something, if you really want it, if you focus on it, if you work hard, if you work harder than anybody else, you're gonna get it. And the one thing that people forget about Kobe Bryant is this. If you ever listen to Kobe Bryant speak, he always talks about how when he was growing up, all of the people that were above him never focused on what they were bad at. And that's what made him better, because he did. He would talk about how when he played pickup games in high school, when he when he was growing up, he tried to play with people that were better than him, that were bigger than him, that were older than him. And he didn't focus on what he was good at, he focused on what he was bad at, and that's how he improved. A lot of people, they go into life, they only focus on the things that they're good at, and then they always question why they never improve. They never get paid more at work. They never get better in the gym. It's because you're never gonna get better when you're only doing the things that you're good at. You're gonna stay in the same path. But if you wanna get better, and you wanna be the best, and you wanna be better than you were yesterday, you gotta focus on the things that you fucking suck at. And that's what Kobe did. Kobe Bryant used to talk about how he was horrible at doing a step back fadeaway. What was Kobe's one of the best things, his signature moves in his NBA career was exactly that. In high school, he was not good at that. But he worked on it. And he made it a priority and it became one of the best things he was good at. And that's what I love about Kobe Bryant. That's what I, I, I think a lot of people should take out of his life and his legacy is that you gotta work hard at everything. You gotta step outside of your box. You gotta improve on all areas of your life if you wanna be better. And you gotta improve on the, the bad things if you wanna stay better. We all like to look at our lives and think, wow, like I'm making more money this year than I ever have. I'm lifting more weights this, this year than I ever have. And you keep it the same. But if you look at why, how you got there, you changed something. You started working harder at something. You started putting more effort into different areas. That's how you got there. So if you want to continue to stay there and you want to continue to grow from there, then you have to do the same exact thing. You got to keep growing. You got to keep evolving. And that's what Kobe Bryant did. Kobe Bryant, if you ever read books on him, 
if you ever read books on athletes like him, Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, even LeBron James, Michael Phelps, Usain Bolt, Wayne Gretzky, keep on naming them. These guys always were in the gym. They were always focusing on building to be better. They were always focusing on how they can improve. They never looked at, oh, well, I lost, this sucks. They never looked at like, oh, well, I won, I'm done. No. They looked at each game, each season, as a different opportunity to be even better. That's how you guys got to look at your life. You got to look at each day, each month, each year as an opportunity for you to be better. And we got to take out this thing that we know life is not guaranteed. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. But if you want to leave a legacy for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for everybody that follows you on your social media or in your podcast, whatever you do, work on being better every day. Work on being the best you that you can be every day. And the number one thing that Kobe Bryant said is this. A true legacy is inspiring other people to want to be better by what you do. And that's exactly what Kobe Bryant did. And that's exactly what his legacy continues to do. And I watch sports for that reason. I watch sports to find people that are like Kobe Bryant. To watch and see these athletes that actually inspire me to get out there and be better to look at the bad things that I have going on in my life and figure out ways that I can get out of them and improve and that's exactly what you guys should be doing as well you know Kobe Bryant was one of a kind and I, it's sad to see that he got taken away so early because I can only imagine what he was going to do in the second part of his life but Let's use his legacy as a way to inspire ourselves, inspire the people around us, and make the society we live in the best that it can possibly be by using that Mamba mentality. So if you guys do anything for the rest of the month, for the rest of the day, figure out a way that you can improve yourself. And figure out a way that you can improve yourself by focusing on the things that you're bad at. I know it's hard, I know it's scary to focus on things we suck at, things that we don't like, but I'm telling you, that's what made Kobe great. That's what made Kobe who he was. So if you wanna be something like that, then you gotta do exactly that. Work on the bad things and everything else will improve. So rest in peace, Mamba. And as Kobe always says, Mamba out.